Hey everybody, so welcome to my latest beauty basket video. For those of you that are new to my channel, this is something that I do every two to three weeks. I essentially will go through my Alex 9 drawer and I will sort of shop my stash, if you will. If you are curious about what is in all of those drawers, I do have a very recent playlist of my storage and organization and collection that I will link down below for you if you're curious what the inside of that looks like. Um, but I take things out of here and move them into this drawer right here, which is my everyday makeup drawer. So these are things that I reach for every day. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of helps me with the overwhelming task of, you know, not having to like go through here every single day and pick something out. I just pick out a set of products that I maybe haven't used in a while or something that I'm really wanting to use and I move it over here and it's within reach where I get ready, which is right here. So let's go ahead and go through and see what I pulled out for this go around. First thing I'm going to show is a MAC palette. Well, these are mostly MAC things in here. There's one thing in here, I think from Estee Lauder maybe. And pardon my really dry hands, by the way, I am working with um, flowers and the chemicals are just killing my hands right now. Okay, so there is, yeah, I believe this is Estee Lauder, is it? It's one of these like ombre, oh shoot, there's no label on it. It was an ombre blush that they came out with a few years ago anyway. So these are, the rest of these round pans are MAC. I used to do makeup for bridal and boudoir photo shoots. So this is part of the stuff that I used to use in my kit. And then, um, yeah, I decided to go ahead and keep this because I like some of the shades. I no longer purchase from MAC, by the way, because I purchase from companies that are cruelty free now, but I still have things in my collection from my non cruelty free days and I'm using those things up. So yeah. Um, just thought I'd go ahead and pull this because I do like a lot of the colors that are in here and they're appropriate for this time of year. And let's start with the stuff that doesn't usually change. This I'm probably actually going to have to be replacing very soon. It's my Tarte Creamy Confidence Powder Foundation and as you can see that is like just about done. So I'll have to get another powder foundation trying to decide which one I want to use next. So we'll, we'll see when we get there. Paula's Choice Resist Flawless Finishing Powder. Love that to set my makeup. My Paula's Choice Resist SPF 30. My Custom Cover Drops in G20 that I use to adjust the shade of this because it's tinted. And then my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, which I'm trying to use up. <laughs> it's slow going because this time of year, this really isn't an ideal product for me. It works better in the fall and winter months when I'm not quite as oily as I am right now. My skin is extremely, extremely oily. Over here we have the blushes and there's also a contour powder in here. My NYX contour powder in the color taupe. Then I have a blush from Marcel. My friend Stephanie from Flourish XO sent this to me in a package and I really like this color. Um, Marcel, I believe, is a drugstore brand in Canada. so. I'm going to be going to visit Stephanie next month and um, I will be buying some Canadian drugstore makeup to share with you guys. Uh, Smashbox, again Smashbox is not cruelty free but this is from back in the day. This is the Blush Rush in Paradise, a really pretty coral. This is a Laura Geller sample that I got with one of my orders, a Blush and Bright Brighton in Dreamsicle, very pretty shade. Again, super summer appropriate, sorry. This is kind of hard to do with one hand. I have my Ambient Lighting Blush Palette from Hourglass. I love this. This was a limited edition holiday package about two years ago. My highlighter is going to be the Diffuse Light from Hourglass. Again, it's from their Ambient line. I love that. I love it so much. Palette-wise, I've got the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, which I adore. I'm still going to be keeping this bad boy in here because I love it so much. It's my Lorac Pro 3. I just don't have the heart to put it away yet. I'm still loving using it. I also decided to pull my Tartlet in Bloom, which I haven't used in quite some time, and I really do enjoy this palette. Oop, here's my other contour powder. It doesn't really fit in here. So 
these are eyeshadow singles or you know smaller quads that I stick in this container right here I pulled two of the Urban Decay shadow pencils and I have the color Juju and Sin I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to use Sin I think it's completely dried up I've tried sharpening it quite a bit and um, we'll have to see how it goes on my lids the Juju is still good so I know that I can use that one. I did have a request for a drugstore eye tutorial, and so I I honestly don't tend to use a lot of drugstore eyeshadows because I happen to really, sorry, I'm kind of squeaking in my chair here. I happen to really think that eyeshadow is something that is worth spending and splurging on, but there are good drugstore eyeshadows out there. So one of my favorites is this Physician's Formula Quad and Canyon Classics. So I'd like to do a perfect neutral eye for you guys with this palette and um, I'll have that up in the next little bit here. I also pulled this for a fun pop of color. It's one of the L'Oreal Infallibles in the color Endless Sea. I know some of you have been asking me for some color and I don't usually do it but I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard you guys. I'm the queen of neutral but I'm going to try to figure out how to do something with this where I add it as like an accent or a pop of color. This I have in here all the time. It's Wet n Wild Brulee. I use it as my, um, it's basically the first thing I lay down on top of my primer to help the other shadows not necessarily stick to the primer. So here we go. Alrighty. Um, lip products. <laughs> I totally skipped this the last time, so let's not skip it this time. Um, NARS, Chelsea Girls, uh, Melted Peony by Too Faced. Which one is this? Maple Blondie from NYX Butter Gloss. I've got the Mocha Rose Balm from Smith's Rosebud. This smells amazing. It smells like chocolate. Let's see. What else do we have in here? We have three Maybelline lipsticks in Warm Me Up, Born With It, and Make Me Pink. Um, yeah. Again, not cruelty free, but leftover from back in the day. I also have a couple of MAC lipsticks in here. We have Blankety and Cream Cup. We have Pomegranate Lip Butter from Corez, which I'm really enjoying this time of year, so that's staying in there. We have Naked from the Urban Decay Color Revolution. They just recently um, reformulated these, I guess. I have one of the newer ones. Um, I'll be mentioning that here soon in a video, but like that. And then this is a Labello lip balm from Germany. Um, I'm originally from Germany. I was born there. I am not American, even though I, I sound like I am. I didn't speak English until I was 10. But um, this is what I grew up being my, um, like, Bonnie Bell lip smackers. <laughs> so when I was younger, this is what I used to buy. And this was my first um, lipstick. Anyway. I guess I don't have to put this stuff in here right now. Uh, here we have some um, mascaras and stuff. This, I have no idea how I forgot about this. The last time that I cleaned out my Alex 9 drawer, I found a brand new package of this CoverGirl Super Thick Lash Mascara. I must have bought this like two years ago. Um, it fell behind my other containers in there. And um, CoverGirl is obviously not cruelty free. So I decided to go ahead and just bust it open and just use it up so I can be done with it. So I tossed that in here. Um, as far as cruelty free mascaras that I have in here, I have the Jordana Best Lash Extreme, the Paula's Choice um, Illicit Lash, and then the Shea Moisture volumizing mascara this one is basically almost done I think another week with this it's starting to flake really bad so and I think the actually the best lash extreme is also starting to really dry out so I'm gonna have to get rid of those um my brow powder is in here this is the Amazonian clay brow powder from Tarte and then my primer is also hitting here the Too Faced Shadow Insurance I love this I swear by this and NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Taupe if I want to accentuate my brows a little bit more. And there's a couple of liners. There's the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, blah, 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 on in Brown Perfection. And then there's also a couple of Kat Von D liners down here that I'm leaving in from the last go around because I never used them. 
These are the autograph pencils in iGasm, and then there's a purple one too. That is right here. The color homey, I believe. <laughs> I'm sad she did away with these. I really, I love this formula. This stays put on my oily eyelids. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Those are the things that I'm going to be using for the next couple of weeks. If you don't use a system like this and you have a ton of makeup, I highly, highly recommend coming up with a daily, like, basket of things. <laughs> Um, you know, whether you change it out every couple days or, you know, every week or every two weeks, it's been really helpful to me and it also forces me to use things that I haven't used in quite some time. So anyway, again, if you're interested in what is in all of those drawers, I will link that playlist down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.